It is now my pleasure to introduce to you an Acadiana native son and our Lieutenant Governor, Scott Angel, who is your Master of Ceremonies today. Thank you, Scott, for your commitment to this issue, your leadership as an advocate for Louisiana workers by speaking out against the moratorium through your efforts on the Gulf Economic Survival Team is an important part of all of our efforts in fighting the moratorium. Please, everyone, let's welcome Lieutenant Governor Scott Angel. Thank you. Thank you, President Durrell, for your kind words and a special welcome to each and every one of you. And thank you for making the sacrifices necessary to be a part of this historic event today. Never, never have so many people, so many friends, and so many American workers gathered here at this location, at this very spot, to support one effort and one goal, today we come here clearly to send a message, not only from the ball field to the cane field, but from Abbeville to Capitol Hill, and from the banks of the historic Vermilion River to the powerful banks of the Potomac River. Enough is enough, and it's time to quit punishing innocent American workers to achieve some unrealistic political agenda. You see, you see, Louisiana has a long and strong, distinguished history of fueling America, and we proudly do what few other states are willing to do. Each and every day, in this 18th great state of our union, in our Louisiana, we put on our hard hats and our steel-toed boots, we kiss our families goodbye, and we begin the tough work of exploring, producing, processing, storing, refining, and transporting the fuel to energize the great United States of America. And, and while we too support the use of renewable and alternative energy, let's keep the conversation real. America is not yet ready to get all of its fuel from the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees. I submit to you this morning, when it comes to the energy security of this country, there is no more important piece of real estate in all of this nation, and every American is connected to it at the gas pump. Let us be reminded that a 50 cent increase in the cost of, a, cost of a gallon of gasoline cost the American economy $1.3 billion a week. A moratorium on drilling only accomplishes the loss of American jobs, the importing of more oil from unfriendly nations, and makes America less competitive in this global economy. Mr. President, Mr. President, I get the fact that you don't like oil and gas companies, but this moratorium is not hurting the stockholders of BP or Exxon or Chevron. This moratorium, moratorium is hurting the Cherimis and the Calais and the Dupuis and the Robans and the Boudreaux and the Thibodeaux. <laughs> Mr. President, you may have aimed high, but your policies are misdirected, and now you are crippling the middle class of the Gulf Coast. In addition to finding the fuel to energize America, let us take this time to remind the nation's policymakers 
of the significant contributions we make to the federal treasury. From 2005 to 2007, this industry paid $242 billion in federal taxes and another $23 billion in mineral royalties to the federal government in 2008 alone. So do me a favor and do yourselves a favor. When somebody asks you what you do for a living, don't just tell them you help find the energy to fuel America. Tell them you help produce the revenue and pay the taxes to help give teachers a pay raise, provide health care for the poor, and you keep criminals where they belong. You tell the American people in the oil and gas business you help pay to educate, medicate, rehabilitate, and if all else fails, incarcerate. But that's not all. But that's not all. Certainly a long and distinguished history of fueling America, but that's not all. If all we did was help energize America and pay taxes, that would be quite enough. But let us all remember, at the same time, we are heating and cooling the homes and businesses of America. At the same time, we are refining the gasoline to fuel America's school buses, police cars, and fire trucks. At the same time, we host the nation's strategic petroleum reserve. We do all of that while producing 20% of the nation's commercial fisheries and are home to some of the nation's best hunting, camping, hiking, bird watching, and recreational fishing. We are not an either or state, and we believe our creator requires us to manage all of our natural resources to improve the lives of all Americans. You know. What has happened down here since the winds have changed? Clouds rolled in from the north and it started to rain. Rain real hard and it rained for a real long time. But six feet of water in the streets of Evangeline. River rose all day, river rose all night. 